Hi, and welcome to the Sabbath Christian Church's online sermon. We have been talking about things that are holy. Among the things that we talked about was uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, and we examined that in some detail. Now, there, is, there are also spirits, non-human, as we know, that are holy. Let us give them a look. And Nehemiah 9, 6, it says, You alone are the Lord. You have made the heavens, the heaven of heavens, with all their host. Angels. Synonym for host is angels here. And these heavenly hosts bow down before you. Colossians 1.16 says, For by him all things were created. We're talking about holy angels. Both in heaven and on earth. They haven't used the word angel yet. Visible and invisible thrones or dominations. Or rulers. They have been created through him and for him. So God created these spirit beings, the angels, as we know. It's not brand new, but I don't think we've gone into them very much. Or not in that sense. They will obey the will of God. Holy angels created for him to do his work. Psalm 103.20 says, Bless the Lord, you his angels. There it is. Finally use the word here. The angels are mighty in strength who perform his word. They do what God says. They are the perfect servants. These spirit beings. And uh, obeying the voice of his word. They do exactly what he says. And their purpose, of course, is, well, let's see, Daniel 8.16, And I heard the voice of a man between the banks of your eye, and he called out and said, Gabriel, it's God's voice, give this man an understanding of the vision. Doing what God says to do for us. God uses his spirit beings, these angels, for us. And Gabriel is one of the angels. And Daniel uh, 10, 11, it said, O Daniel, man of esteem, understands the words I am about to tell you, and stand upright, for now I have been sent to you. This is an angel speaking to him. And this is what God uses the angels for, to go down and speak to them in this way. In Matthew 2, 13, it says, Now when they had gone, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up and take the child, his mother, and flee to Egypt and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is going, coming to search the child for the child to destroy him. So God sent the angel. Whether it was Gabriel or not, he sent an angel. And the angels do what God says to do. Now, the angels are ministering spirits from the Holy God. Here he says, uh, Psalm 103.21 Bless the Lord, all you hosts, you who serve him, doing his will. God uses the angels to minister to us, to people. In John 5, 4, more ministration. For an angel of the Lord went down at a certain season into the pool and stirred up the water. Whoever then first, after the stirring of the water, stepped in it, was made well from whatever disease with which he was afflicted. God used an angel to come down to heal in this manner. So, God, the angels are an important part of 
the whole system of God, this kingdom, before the, the, the kingdom of God. In Luke 22, 43, now an angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him, ministered to the person, healed the person. In uh, Psalm 34, 7, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, fear God. So the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. So different angels, if it, uh, it, it goes into great details about uh, uh, single uh, angels for individual people, and uh, sometimes one, sometimes more. But here, they encamp around those who fear him. And Psalm 91 11 says, For he will give his angels charge concerning you. They're there for us. To guard you in all your ways. This is what the angels do for us. They're there for us. And these are some of the specific things that the Bible is talking about that the angels do for us. Acts 12 7 says, And behold, an angel of the Lord suddenly appeared. And a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter's side, woke him up, saying, struck him. I hope he didn't hit him too hard. Now, I think struck is a kind of poor translation. And his chains fell off his hands. He was put into jail. A chain there. And then the angel said to him, gird yourself, get dressed, put on your sandals. And he did so. And he said to him, wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Ministered to, uh, uh, to, uh, to Peter when he was uh, thrown into uh, prison, jail, captivity. Second Samuel 14.20 says, In order to change the appearance of things, your servant Job has done this thing. But my Lord is wise like the wisdom of the angel of God to know all that is in the earth. So the angels know all those things that's in the earth. And then using this wisdom, they minister to God's people. Psalm 103.20 says, Bless the Lord, you his angels, mighty in strength, to perform his word, obeying the voice of his word, to minister to the people, to God's people. The angels uh, excuse me, praise God and more. Isaiah 6.3 says, And the one called out to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. So they give God great praise and worship. Now, one of the things that can happen to people is when the angels do all these great things, people tend to want to uh, worship them. People on earth seem to have problems about worshiping the true God and Him only. So the angels, because of the greatness of them, the spirit of them, are have more uh, than a physical be a human being can have, because God didn't create us that way, he created us to be fleshy and all that, but he still uses his angels. And Colossians 2.18 says, Let no one keep defrauding you of your prize by delighting in self-abasement and the worship of angels. Don't do that. Don't worship the angels. Taking stand on visions he has seen, inflated without cause, by his flesh and mind. He is warning the people of God back then, because it's Colossians, and so these are the believers he's talking about. And Revelation 19 says, 10 says, Then I fell at his feet and worshipped him. But he said to me, Do not do that. I am a fellow servant of yours and your brethren. Spells it out. Fellow servant of yours and brethren, whole testimony of Jesus. Worship God. Amen. And thank you for watching and listening.